I think many people, including myself, were confused when seeing a mermaid in a God of War game inspired by Norse mythology. So who is this mysterious Lady of the Lake? There will be spoilers ahead, so if you've yet to finish the game, you have been warned. We first encounter the Lady of the Lake when Brock's plan to help Kratos defeat Heimdall is to bind the magical ring Dropnir to a weapon and create a magical spear. At the bottom of the lake, we meet this mysterious mermaid who creates the spear for Kratos. However, the process requires the blood of a god. The only Lady of the Lake I had ever heard of appeared in medieval literature, the most noticeable being in the story of King Arthur. There was also the movie by M. Night Shyamalan. After thinking for a while, it made sense. The Lady of the Lake is not from this land, nor is she meant to be. There are numerous examples of folklore from the British Isles throughout the game. Mimir himself is referred to as Puck, a fairy who appears in British and Celtic folklore. He also talks about being from another land, which given his accent is referring to Scotland. It also explains why when travelling to see the Norns and we encounter a Kelpie, Mimir tells us we don't often see them in these parts of the land, because they are indeed from Scottish folklore. There are many iterations of human enchantresses located around bodies of water in all sorts of European folklore. In the story of King Arthur, he is presented the magical sword Excalibur by the Lady of the Lake, not too different from the mermaid presenting Kratos with a magical spear. There are also stories in Greek mythology where nymphs of the sea provide heroes with magical weapons, the mother of Achilles, Thetis, being an example. This may also explain why the writing team chose to make her a mermaid. Nymphs in Greek mythology can sometimes appear similar. I do now have some questions, however, regarding Brock and Sindri. It's clear this was not the first time they had visited the Lady of the Lake, so how many of their creations in the game were made by her? Did she make Dropnir? Maybe Kratos' axe, or even Thor's hammer? I'll leave you to ponder over the possibilities. Let me know what you think in the comment section.